What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going over the new Solix 5.060 update for the G3 and the Apex units, uh, which is the brand new update. It changes this whole unit from what it used to be. There's a couple things I like and I don't like. Uh, I like the speed. The speed is great. Uh, getting around on it is very easy. Um, the touchscreen is more sensitive. I don't know how they did it, but it's more sensitive and it's just really easy to get around. Uh, the, the one thing I don't like about it is they don't have custom mode anymore. So it's just like on angler mode all the time. Um, it has all the settings in there, but it's not like you could have it on an easy angler mode or put it on a custom mode that had all those other options. It's almost like it limits you on a little bit of few options. And you can't network now with Helix units or the G, you know, G2 or G1 Solix units. So that's something that's a little bit negative about it too. Uh, when you do do this update, make sure you have the latest version of software before this installed, which was like the 4.3 or whatever. Um, so uh, we're going to dive right into it, guys. We're just going to get around on this unit, see what it's all about. And then we're going to have another part of this uh, episode next week that actually is going to go over a lot more of the detailed options in here uh, to get you out there in the water catching more fish. So let's get right into it right now. All right, guys, this is the brand new main menu that is completely different than the old main menu. Uh, it has all of your different options here. No matter which screen you're in, you hit this top left home key, and that's going to bring you back to your home page. We have my data down here, which has all of your waypoints that you've created that are stored on your unit. You have your one boat network. If you're networked to multiple units, you can go in here and change those settings around there. It has your favorites, views. If you want to look at for different views, say uh, you want to have your down imaging and 2D on the same screen, you can click on that. And then you can set it as your favorites. Your favorites key is right there, that star. You can go ahead and hold down on that, and that is going to set that as a, one of your favorites so you can toggle through them very fast with that star key right there. We're going to go back to this main menu. Your new views, you also have tools right here, which is your alarm, software updates, sun and moon, your images, if you've screenshotted it on, on your uh, unit, fuel, trip log, timer, GPS, record feature which is an awesome new thing that you could actually record live your, say your Mega Live 2, you could record that live on there as long as you have an SD card, 64 gigabytes or less inside this unit, it will give you that record option. You can click on that and it's gonna record your whole screen uh, for guys making videos or you just wanna keep it for yourself to show people. It's something really cool. Um, and also your audio and targets for casting targets. New view guys, similar to the old, we have your different window options here. We're going to create one really fast just to show you. We're going to go with this three option here. The top highlighted screen is the active screen that you're picking. We're going to go with side imaging. Bottom right, we're going to do down imaging. Bottom left, we're going to do mapping. This is one I use all the time. Once you're done, you click that save button up there at the top. It is saved. You're on that new screen. You want to set this as one of your favorites. You could hold down on that. There's also another screen here, the first page. We're going to go ahead and just click on that. Set that as your favorites right here. So now when you're out there in the water and you want to get to a different screen, you could go back and forth on this and then click that off. It'll actually go off automatically, but uh, it's not fast enough for me. On this multi-view, you have an active pane right here. It has the quick settings right here, so you could actually change this in or out the range very easily. It also has an auto. If you click that right in the middle, it automatically does it to what it thinks is the best picture. I usually am not going to use that. I run mine out to about 110, 120, uh, and I see pretty well. Um, and you could change your sensitivity for that screen right there. Also, your main menu for the side imaging, if you want to get to that, is these three little bars at the top right. You click on that, and that's going to have your sensitivity, contrast, dynamic contrast, your scroll speed, sonar colors, which they've updated to a lot of cool colors. Click back off there, and navigation. Also, to get to the rest of the settings, you go down here, click on this little settings window down there in the bottom left, or bottom right. This is going to give you the rest of your side imaging um, options. They also have some up here at the top. No matter which screen, if you if you click on this screen here, it's going to have your quick settings right here, which is really nice. You can turn that on auto, off, change your sensitivity, come down here uh, very easily, and then you click that key again, and now you're 
main menu for the DI is there on the screen. Uh, there's the rest of the settings right here. It has some other options. You can mark a waypoint right here. Um, you go to your back window to where the screen you were at before. We're going to go back to that multi-pane. Here on the mapping, we also, we also have a quick in or out. You want to zoom in, zoom out. You can do it really fast without using your fingers. You can do that as well. Say you want to come over here all the way and look at uh, something you want to look at, one of these islands over here. You find it. You can click that boat icon right there, and it brings you right back to where you were before. Um, so something really cool. We're going to go to a full screen here. Once you're in that full screen, you can just click those two fingers on whatever pane you want to get to, hold your fingers on it, and it'll get to the main screen of whatever you clicked on. It also has some options up here in the top that you could change relatively quickly. You can change this to just the right side, the left side for side imaging, or both, which it's on now. You could change this to 800 kilohertz or 455. And you can also disable your pinging altogether. Um, we're on simulation mode right now, so it's not going to work. Um, and it also has some other options right here, too. So it gives you a lot of quick options. Um, let's go back to that multi-pane screen. Say we want to go into our 2D. Click your two fingers on that. Now we're in 2D and can get through here very easily. Adjust that sensitivity up and down. Get to our main menu. Um, get to our full menu things like that. So it's very easy to get around on. They've made it very simple uh, to get around on. Let's go back to our home page here. We have our main settings right here. This is our settings for the whole unit. Uh, it has sonar, my boat, data sources, system, uh, simulation mode. If you want to get that unit on simulation mode, you just click that simulation right there. You want to have make sure your demo mode is off. Uh, so you don't lose any information when you switch over to that uh, simulation mode. All right, guys, that's it for this first part of this Solix G3 5.060 update. Uh, and it's going to be the same way in the Apex, guys. This is the new software version. It's really cool. It's a lot different. It's like almost buying a brand new unit and uh, just with an update. It's the craziest update I've seen so far. Uh, next week, we're going to dive into a lot more of these details inside these menus, uh, how to get some clearer pictures on the side imaging and down imaging, things like that. And we're going to dive into all of these new waypoint features, circling waypoints, grouping them up, uh, and stuff like that. So uh, please subscribe, give this uh, video a like, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.